This is a quick video review of some of the components I had to install on this power wheel so we can make it remote control. There's a couple different ways you can do this as far as your batteries go. I chose to use two. One dedicated to the steering actuator up front and one dedicated to the two motors in the back. The original power wheel's battery mounts up front in here. I actually had to notch this out a little bit to put these batteries in. These batteries are not original Power Wheels batteries. Um, you can pick these up probably off of eBay for around 20 bucks a piece. Might be 20, 25 bucks. But they're much cheaper. They actually have a longer ampere hour. This is a 12 volt, 12 AH ampere hour. So they, they last a little bit longer. These are made for like the hover around chairs, like the electric chairs you see in like the grocery store and all. Um, I had to notch this out just a little bit to make this fit. Um, I ended up taking a small Tupperware container that was about the same size and ended up sliding that underneath over the hole that I had to cut out so that compartment is still sealed. It's a nice tight fit. I ended up getting a couple of these Velcro straps you can get at the hardware store just to be able to loop around here and give me some sort of handle because the fit's so tight. Once it's down in there, it's hard to get your fingers up around and get that in there. So I got some kind of handle to be able to pick this up and out of here. This is how the battery slides in here. You can just pull this back. Drop that down in. And I've just got two covered spade connectors here. Going to the positive and the negative. This is the Linear Actuator Control Board, also called the LAC board. It's kind of like the brain to the actuator that's mounted up underneath here. Fairly easy to set up. It's got a USB interface on here that you can plug right into your computer and you can adjust your endpoints just to make sure you don't damage any of the steering and you can fine tune that really nice on there. It's a real nice feature. If you have any problems setting this up or wiring it up at all, the guys on modifiedpowerwheels.com are a great resource and uh, very responsive too whenever you're doing a project like this. This is a quick look at where I was able to mount the linear actuator up. Just the bracket right here. Bent out a little bit to give it a little bit more of an outward angle. Got an L bracket right here which I literally screwed a couple 2x4s together and hammered it around it until I got a good shape to where it sat nicely on here met up with this steering rod right there. This is the back of the power wheels where I mounted the second battery at. Both of the motors are up underneath this board here. There's a motor attached to a gearbox for each wheel in here in the back so it powers each wheel separately. Um, this is the electronic speed control. It's a Mamba Max Pro. These can be a little bit pricey, but after talking to some of the guys on modifiedpowerwheels.com, this is the one that they recommended for reliability and safety as well. Um, you gotta think you got your, your kid riding around in here. You don't wanna have a, a bad product whenever you're dealing with some electricity. So this is the receiver here with the antenna. You can, this comes with a little plastic straw that you can poke up and down, but it really doesn't matter. You can just kind of let that lay in here. I got this disconnected for right now just so I can show you how, how it looks. Um, all I really do for some of these pieces is just mount them to the, to the inside with a piece of Velcro. Um, the board, I, I did end up taking a couple of blocks and just screwing them to the side to give this shelf a little bit of a ledge to attach to and secure down so it doesn't bounce around. The electronic speed control is pretty easy to wire up. There's, I just took a couple of these bullet connectors, which you can kind of see here. This has got clear shrink wrap on it. Um, they just kind of plug into each other like that. Really easy to, to quick disconnect if you ever need to. Um, it's fairly easy. It kind of looks like a little bit of a wiry mess here, but it's not that bad. This is the on off switch for the whole power wheel. It's coming off the electronic speed control. So let's go ahead and fire it up and get the tires moving for you.